Have you ever wondered why in some buildings, like offices, you need a key or a card to get into some areas, but you don't need one to get out? In fact, practically every building in the United States requires what's known as free egress, which is the ability for occupants to exit the building without delay or obstruction of any kind. What if I told you this aspect of daily life could be traced back to a single fire that occurred over 100 years ago? Welcome to Learn Something New by NFPA Journal. For this episode, before I can teach you something new, we have to take a step back in time. America 1911. Henry Ford's Model T was just three years old. The country as a whole was in the middle of its second industrial revolution. America was a hub for manufacturing. Textiles in particular were flying off factory floors in cities like New York to be sold around the world. At one factory located in Greenwich Village in Manhattan, tragedy struck on the afternoon of March 25th, 1911, a tragedy that forever changed the way we exit buildings. It was almost five o'clock on a Saturday and workers were finishing their shift at the Triangle Waste Company, which produced a type of women's blouse known as shirt waists, when a fire broke out on the eighth floor of the Ash Building. The factory occupied the eighth, ninth, and 10th floors of the building. When the workers, mostly young women and immigrants, scrambled to get out, they found that the doors had been locked. This was a common practice at the time to keep workers from taking breaks or stealing company property. With no way out, some women began jumping from the windows. At first, the fallen girls had seemed like birds. Bright cardinals, boned white doves, swooping blackbirds in velvet-colored coats. But when the heat descended, the terrible truth of the matter was revealed. Their bodies were broken, dashed to their deaths, right before those who stood by helpless. Newspaper headlines detailed the horrific tragedy, which killed 146 people. While a number of factors contributed to the fire's high death toll, perhaps the most significant was the locked doors. About 200 miles north in Boston, NFPA was only 15 years old at the time of the Triangle Waste Fire. Its impact was felt immediately. Following the fire, a series of presentations and events at the NFPA annual conferences led to the creation of the NFPA Committee on Safety to Life in 1913. The work of that committee, initially dealing with things like exit drills and fire escape stairs, eventually morphed into what we now call the NFPA Life Safety Code. Today, that concept of free egress is a main tenet of the Life Safety Code, and the Code's influence is noticeable in buildings the world over, even in the former Ash Building, which still stands in Greenwich Village, a monument to those who died there in 1911, and modern fire safety regulations in America. Thanks for watching. If you like this format for Learn Something New, in which we take an aspect of modern life and trace its roots back to a single or series of historic fires, let us know in the comments section, and be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more great video content.